Welcome Capricorns. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Happy to be back with you guys. We're going to do a mid-month, mid-month reading for July the 15th through the 31st. Okay, so we're going to see what energy is coming towards my Capricorns for the month, the remainder of July. All right, so for the remainder of July, let's see what energy is coming towards y'all. All right, so... These are going to be general reads, so it may or may not resonate. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to click that bell to subscribe, all right, and catch the notification. Get in the notification game because you don't want to miss out. All right, so come on in, guys. Come on in and click the like button on your way in. Share with your family and your friends, guys. Let's talk about some things. Now, while I was pre-shuffling, I had a card jump out. It was offer. So some of you guys may have an offer on the table. Okay, an offer is going to possibly be on the table for the remainder of July. So let's see what messages we have we get for my Capricorns. Guys, don't forget to check out my merchandise below. Um, if you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information is going to be in the description box, okay? All right, let's go. Let's do it. What energy is coming towards my Capricorns? What messages are there for Capricorn for the remainder of July? We got metamorphosis. Ooh. Okay. We got deception. Let's get one more card. Capricorn, what message is there for my Capricorns? Thank you. We got balancing the scales. All right. Some of you may feel abandoned or you feel abandoned or you're abandoning someone. Okay. Some of you may feel like this is karma or you're trying to balance out this situation, balance the scales. Some of you guys are trying to refocus, put your focus elsewhere. Um, so let's see what's going on here. Metamorphosis. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about this Capricorn. I do definitely feel like you guys are going through some type of shift here. Okay. You guys are going through a shift. Hmm. Give me a second, guys. <clears throat> then we got a little bit of <laughs> you guys are going through some type of transformation okay so maybe some of you guys are trying to transform from out of a certain way of being okay because i got deception here and right here in the middle some of you guys have been dealing with been dibbling dabbling in some deceptive ways all right some of y'all may have been dibbling and dabbling and doing you and living your life, you know, living your best life, you know. But I feel like some of y'all are trying to balance that out. I feel like some of you guys are shifting your focus, okay. I feel like there is getting ready to be some type of growth within you, okay. And you're taking things to the next level. And I can wholeheartedly respect that, Capricorn. I respect it. I damn sure respect it because, to be honest, a lot of you guys, a lot of Capricorns, I get a lot of, I have to do a lot of readings and a lot, I get a lot of Capricorns energy that comes my way for readings, okay? And to see this, look at this, look at what to jump out, look at this, Seven of Swords, see? And look at the, at the bottom of the deck, the judgment. You're making the final decision to walk away from something. You are making a decision to walk away from something for your own happiness, for your own emotional fulfillment. You're getting, away, getting ready to walk away from something. I see it. I feel it. You guys, this is big. Okay? This is big. This is huge. Okay? Judgment, you're making that final decision. You're going through an awakening. 
you're realizing something here now okay you have to walk away for your own happiness but we got the seven of swords we got to talk about it because it came out first the, the first card that comes out is the most strongest energy okay so there is some lies some sneakiness some deception going on okay so so let's talk about it let's talk about it nine of pentacles not a pentacle. So you see, you got to be honest with yourself. Ace of Swords. You got to be honest, Queen of Swords. You got to be honest with yourself. Okay. All right. We got the Tower. See, that's what I'm telling you guys. Are possibly going through a Tower moment right here. You possibly are going through a Tower moment. Okay, so this is it. This is the moment. This is the time right now. Like, a lot of y'all are going through a tower moment, really. Like, this is this is the metamorphosis right here. Okay? Some of y'all have been doing this. Being a little player here and there. Not being able to keep still. Okay? Not being, not being able to be still. Keep still. But we got, we got you here making future plans, okay? So you're planning, okay? You're plotting a plan. Look at you. You're, you're thinking about your money now, okay? See, look at this, guys. I got the hangman, okay? So things possibly have been hold or you guys have been waiting. Um, possibly you've got Queen of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be involved in this situation. Knight of Pentacles, you guys' energy. Okay, you've been taking your time, but we got the Ace of Pentacles. You've been waiting on the right moment, the right opportunity, Ten of Pentacles, okay? Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, this is about your bag, your money, your finances, your career, long-term, family, okay? This could even symbolize a marriage, but I feel like you was waiting on the right moment, and now something has happened to where you realize that you possibly need to make some changes, okay? Past energy. We got the death card, the transformation. See, that's what I'm telling you. You guys are going through a transformation here. This is breaking down those walls here, okay? Wow. You're tired of being, feeling um, under someone else's control. Possibly, I got the uh, emperor and the four of swords. Okay, so let's see what's coming ahead. This is beautiful. What's coming ahead? What's in the future? The Four of Pentacles. You guys got to let go of the past, okay? Because, see, it looks like you guys are holding on to the past. And this came out together. So I'm going to keep them together, okay? You guys are holding on to the past. There's something that you need to let go of, okay? In order to get this sun card, to get this energy of light, positive energy, okay? But you're holding on to something that you need to let go of. You need to let go of something from that you're holding on to from your past, okay? Or this is your ways. You got to let this go. Like if you're, you're, if this has, look at this, the wheel of fortune. Look at this. You guys are going through, this is significant. This is significant. Guess what? And if you were avoiding, trying to avoid this change, the universe is like, uh-uh, 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 uh-
Some of y'all don't want to have to sit still. Some of y'all don't want to have, y'all want to be able to keep y'all freedom. Y'all want to be able to duck, to move and groove as you please, okay? Why is, what's the outcome? And some of y'all fear getting played, like you're going to get played, okay? Um, the outcome is the strength card, okay? You're going to find the strength, okay? Look at this. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Y'all y'all got this in the bag, okay? Y'all got this in the bag. Y'all got this in the bag. But I do want to see why the Seven of Swords is here. But you guys are going to have to be strong, like. You're showing your strength doing this. King of Swords. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why is the Tower here? I don't even have to clarify too much. This reading got straight to the point. See, you don't want to look. Look at this four of cups. Four of cups. You don't want to. You don't really like. I got the king of cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You don't really want to feel emotion. So this is weird for you. Like the breaking down, the awakening that you guys are going through. You don't really. It's not fun. Okay, and it's not supposed to be fun. Okay. It's not supposed to be fun. Why is the strength card here? The sun. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. But you're going to be confident and happy that you had the courage to actually do this, okay? Why is the sun card here? This is going to be good for you. The hermit, okay? You be, you look you looking for the bag, okay? Some of y'all guys are isolating yourself until you get yourself together, okay? You're trying to get you're trying to get the bag. You're trying to get yourself together, which we know that Capricorns is about their money, baby. Y'all the goats in real life, okay? Y'all going after the bag, and if you have to separate yourself and do something different to get to that point of this nine of pentacles where you are secure within yourself then you're going to have to do that there's certain things that you're going to have to let go of why is the nine of pentacles here eight of swords six of cups and the four of pentacles what does capricorn need to let go of look look at this You've been holding this in. You've been hold. You're holding on to somebody from the past, and I think it's possibly a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Yes, Hangman. Definitely Pisces is energy. I got the High Priestess right here. Definitely Pisces energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces that you've been holding on to. You've been holding on to this person for a while, okay? You, It's like you got this person on ice. Hangman. Why is the hangman here? Eight of Cups. Maybe you're waiting to see if this person would walk away. You're waiting to see if you needed to walk away. Like you needed, you was holding on to this person um, to kind of see where things would go, okay? Because I'm getting that the truth is being revealed. It's getting ready to be revealed, okay? There definitely could be, um, we got the Empress here. We got the King of Wands here. There could possibly be a third party energy. Someone here is definitely could be jealous or there is like competitive energy. Okay, why is the Eight of Cups here? The Hierophant. Taurus is energy. getting that you don't understand why someone walked away why is the two of swords here five of wands there was some type of conflict okay some type of conflict it looks like some of y'all regret okay yeah this is what the problem is some of you guys are holding on to regrets of something that didn't work out from the past okay your intuition possibly told you that this person was going to wait, but this person probably walked away. 
Okay, this person possibly walked away. Look at this, Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Pentacles, and the Justice card. It looks like, and then I got the Four of Wands. Some of you guys could be dealing with a long-term something. This For some of you guys, this is a marriage. For some of you guys, this is family. Okay, for some of you guys, this is uh, something in pertaining to the workplace. But I feel like some of you guys are wanting a chance to work something out here. You want to work on something. But I'm getting like a 50-50 or a balanced situation here. Why is the Six of Swords here? This person, look at this. It, this somebody is done, okay? How people are viewing you, viewing this situation, they, they felt like you were done with this and you've moved forward. And you've healed from this situation, which, but I feel like you, you aren't healed completely from this situation and it's tearing you up on the inside. Why is the Ten of Swords here? The Empress. Someone's mother could be involved. I got the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, definitely possibly a family member with the Ten of Pentacles. And the S Pentacles keeps coming out together. Why is the Empress here? This could be a, a side person. The moon. Oh no, this is definitely someone. Um, this is Pisces' energy as well. Cancer's energy. Making amends. Look at this. The magician and the temperance card. I feel like the way people view this situation is that you didn't want to make amends, that they feel like this was over and done with, that you've moved on. And there's someone possibly else in the picture with the Empress here and the Moon card here. Why is the Moon card here? This is things that are being kept a secret. The Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's definitely a secret because we got the Ace of Swords. And, uh, and they they feel like they believed you. Whatever story you gave them, they believed it because they feel like you were telling the truth. And they, they defended you. They defended you, okay, because they feel like you were telling the truth. But I'm not too sure if, this, if, you, if you were telling them the truth, okay? I'm not really sure because I see you still holding on to the past. Why is the Queen, why is the Knight of Wands here? Five of Swords. <laughs> yeah, see, I got the Chariot and the Three of Swords again. So you're trying to move on from this heartbreak or sorrow or breakup, okay? But I feel like you're afraid to that you could possibly get played. Um... You're not trying to go through that. Why is the Hermit card here? Hermit. The Knight of Cups. See? Page of Swords. Oh, there's there's something here about someone's telling somebody's business. And a whole people a whole bunch of people are talking about it. Four of Wands could be family, could be marriage, could be a group of individuals. Why is the Knight of Cups here? I'm getting like you're deciding that you're not going to tell. Once you get over this situation, you handle the situation within yourself. I feel like you're gonna you're not going to tell anybody your business. Like you're going to be keeping stuff on the low for your own happiness. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Because I'm getting like keeping stuff, keeping your good news to yourself. And look at this offer of a uh, offer. You know what? We did have an offer in the beginning of the the reading. An offer here. I got the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups, which is an offer for a relationship, an offer to be together, okay? So you could be looking for some type of offer for somebody, and look at this. Once again, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This is a very, not only, not only is this emotional fulfillment, but this is also a business partner. 
This is also someone you can do business with, that you can handle your money with. So this could be the whole shebang. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups together is everything. <laughs> is everything that anybody could want, okay? I feel like you're looking for an offer from, from this person, okay? For some of you, it could be a Leo, okay? It could be a Leo because I got the strength card as well as the sun card, which is definitely Leo's energy. I got the hermit card here, which is um, which is Virgo's energy, Knight of Cups, Pisces is energy, Ten of Cups, Pisces is energy. But I'm getting a lot of, of <laughs> I like this energy uh, if this is an offer coming towards you or if you are extending this offer. Definitely a uh, loving, caring, financial. Look at this. You guys, this energy, the devil. And the four of wands. Some of you guys are married or <laughs> there's an offer. Someone wants to get married, okay? <laughs> Most definitely, like somebody wants something long-term. You guys want something long-term or they want something long-term. But somebody most definitely wants something long-term, yeah. Somebody wants to start a family, or something to that nature, okay? Wow, Capricorns. <laughs> this is big. You guys are going through something really, really big. Like, this is the great awakening moment for you guys. And I feel like this is something good. I feel like something good is going to come out of it. I, I really do. I really feel like... Something good is going to come out of this. There's an offer getting ready to be on the table. You guys are going through this breaking down of, you know, old ways of thinking, old ways of viewing things. And I feel like you guys are going to be okay. You guys are going to be just fine, okay? If this message resonated, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share. If you're new, subscribe. If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information is below. All right? Until next time, ciao, y'all.